good morning and happy Sunday. So I'm just going to keep working on these little flower set thingies that we're working on. <coughs> so basically all I did was turn the camera off and then turn it right back on. So uh, we just picked up right where we left off yesterday. Um, so I hope you guys are having a great weekend and looking forward to the following this next week. Um, I feel awesome. I'm excited. Nothing's nothing super exciting is happening. It's just I don't know. I just I feel good, and I'm just y'all are gonna get tired of listening to me say how good I feel. I know it, <laughs> but I don't know. It's just it's been so long in my life that you know it's. Have you ever had like a point in your life? where it just seemed like there was so much negativity that you just couldn't get away from it. And I feel like I finally did that. Like I got out of my own head, I think was the problem and, or solution rather. And it's just, I don't know. I just can't help myself, but share with the whole world. I'm happy. And I mean, that's not to say that I wasn't happy before because I was, I mean, I have a wonderful family. I have a wonderful husband. You guys probably, a lot of you know my husband. Um, now I know some of the newer people that are just coming over, they haven't had the chance to meet him, but he's just such a wonderful supportive man. And I just, I couldn't be more grateful. And I don't know, it's just sometimes you have things in your life that you just, are seemingly all around you but you just don't know how to deal with them I guess and I I guess I just learned how to accept you know what was happening and accept the things in my life I mean not everyone is going to be a nice person and not everyone is going to love everything that you do and I get that now <laughs> But I didn't before, you know? I didn't get the fact that, you know, Joe Schmo didn't like what I was doing. I didn't get, I didn't understand, like, how can you not like what I'm doing? I, I love what I'm doing. I, like, I don't understand. Like, there was a lot of that. There was a lot of um, negativity brought on by feedback. And I would take it, base, I would take it personally, you know? And it's just like any other art form, whether it's music or writing or poetry, acting, uh, photography, all of that, all of that is an art form. So think about this. Think about your favorite actor. Is your favorite actor, you know, I don't know, Sean Connery or Orlando Bloom Johnny Depp, those are some really great actors. Um, but some people will think of those names and be like, oh, they're just pretty faces, they can't act. But that's an opinion. I personally think they can act. And I feel like they're great actors. Yes, they're pretty faces, but they act very well. And for instance, another great example is music. Um, one of my favorite artists is actually a rapper and I appreciate the artistry in what he does and it's Eminem um, but I appreciate the artistry in what he does and I have so much respect for the sheer amount of talent that is put into his art form and do I listen to rap not necessarily not really do I listen to Eminem? Absolutely, because I love Eminem. But I don't listen to other rap, you know? I don't... It just isn't something that interests me. And that is to show you that just because I don't necessarily listen to it doesn't mean it's bad. It means that it's not my cup of tea. And just like these flowers that I'm making right now, I love them. I think they're gorgeous. I use them. I make them. I love them. They're stunning to me. 
and so I share them. Now I will have people come back and say, ah, that's not hard to do. I've had that before in a live stream, which was interesting. I did not take it very well then. Now I would just be like, you know, I know it's not that hard to do. That's why I like doing it because it comes very naturally for me. And if you don't think it's very hard to do, then I'm happy for you because then you can do it too because it brings me so much joy and maybe it can bring you joy too. So it's just a different outlook on how you look at things and it's how you choose to look at things. So I think that my mentality has grown exponentially. And, oh, aren't those just so pretty? Oh, I love them. And these are the ones with the metal pieces, which is why I used E6000 on them. Normally I would not use E6000, except for uh, plastic and metal. Uh, sometimes plastic, but sometimes with the plastic I'll just use, oh, these are already done. Sometimes with the plastic, I'll just use the, uh, the hot glue. So these were the other ones, which means I need to grab three more of these little guys and take them apart. All right. I'm going to pull that right on off. Ugh. It does take a little bit of effort because these gems in here, they're kind of, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're... They're like, they're set into the flower. I don't know what that's called. A setting, I guess. I I don't know. But anyway, does that make sense with you guys? I hope that makes sense. I think that we get so wrapped up in judging ourselves that we forget to judge ourselves positively. And I think that's really important. I think that we should see the good in ourselves just as much as we see the bad. It's so easy for us to see the bad in ourselves that we forget to look at the good. Like, why are you creating this? Are you creating this because you want to impress someone else? Or are you creating this, this being whatever? Or are you creating this because it's something that you really enjoy doing? And if that's the case, then it doesn't really matter what other people think because you're not creating it for other people you're creating it for yourself and that's what I've learned and I've actually done very well for me I've done very well in my Etsy shop with the handcrafted items because I stopped making things for other people I stopped doing what I thought other people wanted me to do and I just started doing what made me happy. And in doing so, I created a monster. A monster mash. But no, for real. I just, I don't know. I create more now. I make more because it's more, it's, it's more fun for me. Because I'm not constantly worried about someone's critique or judgment. Because I'm not making it for them. I'm making it for me. And so I think that we all should remember that. And when you're creating, like, okay, and when you're creating things, just remember what are you making it for? Are you making it because it makes you happy? Because if you're making it because it makes you happy, then it's okay to have bad critiques and criticism. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. Anyway, not that I really intended on the first 10 minutes of this video being a podcast of <laughs> talking. But then again, y'all are probably used to that by now. I normally do talk pretty in depth about things. I get pretty serious. That's funny. When my kids were little, I would call them silly gooses or I would call them a silly goose. And my son is so funny because when he was about two or three years old, he's like, mom, I am not a silly goose. And I was like, okay. It's like, 
I'm a serious goose. <laughs> it's like, are you <laughs> Oh, and even to this day, it is just so funny, and it cracks me up every time I think about it. And it, it's just because this cute little toddler, I am not a silly goose, Mom. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. I'm a serious goose. gosh and it's just it's so fun and it's just I don't know and you know what's funny too is the the more that I really think about it and the more that I think about like these past few weeks I'm actually realizing and thinking about all of the good and happy that I've had in my life and things like that are just like part of it you know and it's just it's it's awesome oh no i dropped the thing thing all right i need more of these oh i think someone's getting ice or something i can hear it i don't know if y'all can hear it but i can hear it and i'm just taking these pearls off because i'm not going to use the pearls i'm going to use something different i wonder what these pink things would look like in here see what do you look like you know I like that a lot I think I'm gonna do that all right so we're gonna have to use extra adhesive on these I mean they're they're stickers but yeah, I'm looking for these to last, so I'm not about to rely on the little sticky from the stickers. Uh, I think I got these in Happy Mail. Um, I don't know, a couple years ago. But I think those came in Happy Mail. Oh, also, too, if you guys send me stuff, uh, shoot me an email and ask for my street address because I need, I don't think I have the personal mailbox in my description box anymore but I actually um, didn't renew the subscription for it so if you want to send me something and you don't already have my home address like if you haven't bought something from me from Etsy or something um, then you wouldn't have my home address but if you bought from my shop then you have it uh, and if you <laughs> if you get the package um, but, oh, I love that. Okay. So we're going to, where'd my thing go? Oh, it's right there. It's so tiny. I lose it. And it's so tiny. So I can put like a teeny tiny amount on. I love this little bottle. This is like so much better. In my opinion, this works way better for what I need it for than the big giant bottle that I've had to throw away. Or tube. Wouldn't it be a tube? It would be a tube, not a bottle. So these are actually connected by little rubbery thingamabobs, which is why I cut them. But I only cut the four that I needed. All right. I really should have tweezers, but I don't. so cool oh I like the simplicity of that so much better way better I think I want to do some tags too might do some of those when we get done with this little set here well, no, because I want to make at least two more sets to go on. That way I can put up four sets at once. So hopefully we can get those done. Because like I said in the last video and yesterday's video, sometimes I can get them out fairly quickly because they just kind of fall together as to what they're going to look like. 
and sometimes it takes a little bit longer like with that first set that first set took a long time to do um, but this is the second set it's gonna be a teal and pink because again that's a really popular combination I love this combination it is so pretty I love this so this is what they look like let's see if I can get it to not glare on you guys there we go isn't that pretty and I like how flat they are like this can go on a journal page of how flat it is this one it really just depends on the rest of your journal because it's got that pearl, it got that pearl but it could very easily go on a journal page oh I love these okay these I'm gonna have to keep up here to let them set just a little bit longer um, these I can probably put down because they're not super bulky so I'm gonna go ahead and put those down in the box which is right beside me Boop. all right I kind of want to do some cream maybe that'll be pretty make some nice neutral creams I actually don't have too too many of like the flowers like this that are neutral colored. I have a lot of colors. There's some butterflies. I think that might be pretty. Ooh, I wonder. Let's take you apart. Oh yeah, we cut those part. Those part? We cut those part? That that's Funny. Blip, 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 blip. And see, this is why the middle gets taken <laughs> and then covered up because I cut a hole through the middle of it, trying to take it apart. either all right so let's move, click off of the screen so I don't end up with 15 videos all right let's see what do we have what do we have um, I'm thinking you do not go over here oh I love these I love these things these little guys here Right, one, two, three, four. We'll use those. And let's see if we can find something maybe a little dark. Err. Alright. Got some blue in here. That's pretty. Not really what we're going for here, but that might work. Four of them. I think that one's, those two are different from each other. There we go. Probably use those, but. Um, let's see. Let's dig it around. Ooh, squares. That'll be fun. Just kind of pulling some stuff out to see what I've got in here to kind of go with everything. Ooh, 
I like that one. Let's see if we can get some more of those. It's three. That one's lighter. Don't like that one. So there's four. Let's see what else is in here. It's a very large pink thingy. <laughs> this stuff is fun to play with. I like playing with that. Ooh, we might actually be able to do something maybe with that. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud right Um, ah, no throwing of the doilies. That's three. And that's four. Perfect. Alright. Um, I think we have enough to play with here. Let's close this up. Oof. Possibly. You know, I think I might need a big bucket. Because I keep getting more of these because I use them so often, but I think I my mind uses more than my hands actually use because I'm just trying to flatten it out a little bit because it's all bulked up right in the middle. Oh, I love that. Isn't that pretty? Such a dark color. And that's kind of why I started putting them in this, because I ran out of room in this. I might have to empty out um, some of my other containers so I can put some of these in there, because this gets difficult to close sometimes. Oi! 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 Okay. Got it! Alright. Uh, what's in this one? Oh, I sorted some of them out. Yeah, so I went through there and I started sorting some of them out and putting them in little tiny bags like this. I don't think I have four in there. I have three. One, two, three. No, I do have four in there. Ooh, that might be fun to play with. Okay. And here's some of the other flowers that I have. Um, well, these are more clusters in my opinion. But these are the appliques that I have on my shop. And then I've got the little teeny tiny clusters right there. Um, Dana needs to go out. Okay, tell Porter please. Um, but yeah, sometimes I'll add these in like little goodie bags that I make up. And I'll throw one in the little goodie bag. Oi. Yeah, I started to organize them, and then I was just like, you know, I have a lot. So, uh, I just threw them all in the bucket. And left them there. Alright, so I think we're going to use these. I really like these a lot. These are really cool. I just don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. see anything. Kind of like the that. Let's see. Put it on something else. That's nice. Let's take that off. Let's go with that. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And then, oh, we've got a piece of black yarn. Or blue or something. And then, let's see, we'll go with, hey, come here, come here, you. 
Okay, I like that. Okay, so we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one up so I know what I'm looking at. warm. Okay. Just a tiny bit of E6000. I really should invest in some tweezers. Some crafting tweezers. There we go. What do you think? See, I think that turned out really cute. And see, I like making neutral ones like this too. That way people can choose if they want the colored ones or the neutral ones. I just like making flowers. That's just me. Alright, so there's that. That. Excuse me, excuse me. That, that, oh, we're missing one. And that, okay. No, don't turn off. <laughs> My screen is like, you're turning off in five minutes. No, I'm not. Stop that. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to use these pearls. I think I want to try to keep this flat. Um, potentially, if I can get them off. Okay. And then we need to figure out what, um, if we're going to use a metal piece, which one we're going to use. Sometimes they don't want to come off. So I need to help them a little. Need to help them along. Okay. All right, so that's done done with you. Oh, goodness. I have to take a sip of my tea. Oh, this is a little container that, um, that pins come in, like, um, pins, but I use them all, um, because I use them when I, when I, um, when I sell the laces, I wrap them up and I use the pens to close it close the lease. So I just saved the container and put those little flat backs in there. Alright, hold that. What do you look like? That's pretty. Alright. Mm -mm. What am I doing? Oh. Okay. So got this one. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And this one. So, how are you guys doing today? Are you working on any projects this weekend? Or finishing up any projects this weekend? Or starting new projects this weekend? Do you have anything planned for this week? I don't have anything planned for this week, but I do hopefully plan on getting my new bundles up. I want to get the bundles up and running. But a lot of, uh, well, not really a lot, but a portion of the bundles are not handmade items. 
So I'm probably not going to film like putting the bundles together, stuff like that. Um, but obviously I'll film any of the crafting part. Because I think that's kind of why you guys are all here is to watch the crafting part of the videos. You know? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I say that a lot, don't I? It's either that or making noises. I make noises at you guys a lot. That car's loud. Alright. And then... Hey! Oh, and if you guys are interested in just plain doilies, I have those on the shelf too. Um, a lot of them that I'm using now, I don't have on the shop, but I do have bigger ones. I think the, um, the average size of the ones that I have on the shop are like three inches in diameter. Um, I have some pretty ones. Well, to me, they're all pretty, but I have some like ginormous pretty ones. Uh, they've got embroidery on them. They're so cool. I think they're like lot Z or something like that or because I have them lettered so it's easy for me to um, keep them inventory or organized rather and I think we're done with the pink for now so we're gonna just throw that over there and what was oh was these guys Oy. like I think I want to like dye a bunch of these um, pink ones and put those up there. But that's actually kind of a process, man. Because uh, it took two days to get those to dry. Now, given they were stacked on top of each other, uh, because I don't have the space to just lay them out in a single, single row, single layer, and then just like, you know, deuces dry up. I don't have the space for that. So I have them in my little basket. And they were layered all on top of each other. And I, I rotated the layers out, so uh, they were moving around a little bit. But it did take longer for them to dry that way. I think it took like two, two and a half days. I have these hot glue strings everywhere. <laughs> it's Emmy. go. And now we've got four of those made. Cool, huh? Boop. That didn't take too long. Oh, about 15 minutes to make four of those. Once you find the, um, what you want to use, I think the process is a lot quicker. It's finding what you want to use that is the time-consuming part, I think. Got some gold here. I think that might look good. I like that. Right. I might take this pearl out, though, to keep them flatter. That's going to be fun. I have pink fuzz from my doilies. I'm going to just go ahead and grab the pliers because I think it'll make it easier. Oi. Alright. There we go. And I mean, they're still going to be a little dimensional because of the way they're woven together. But taking out this giant pearl will condense some of that depth, I think. And so, I actually do this a lot. I buy something, uh, and then take it apart. Do you guys do that? I do that with a lot of things. Especially appliques and 
like flowers and such like this. I don't think I have these flowers on the shop. Um, I actually need to get more appliques on the shop because I have a bench, but um, I haven't been come out. This is why I need my tweezers. Oh my goodness. It's like stuck in the bottom. Oh my gosh, it does not want to come out. I don't know if these are small enough. I guess they are small enough. I should have started with the pliers. All right. <laughs> we have that. Goodness gracious me. All right. off here. And if I don't like it, I have more. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that much better. Okay. So we'll take this off, take the giant poof off. Be careful when playing with your scissors. You should never actually play with your scissors. <laughs> Yeah, so I've, this particular flower I've deconstructed about four times now. Because there's this, plus the pearl, so. And then this actually goes like that. Or rather, like that, with the pearl inside. I don't think I have any left that are not deconstructed. Completely, I mean. I think I might have like one or two of these left, like this, possibly. I'm not, yeah, at least that one. I am concentrating because these threads are super tiny and I don't want to damage the flower itself. There we go. All right. Why are you not closing? There we go. My scissors weren't closing. Okay. And then...
quite see it enough. Not quite big enough. Still need a metal piece too. Let's see. What kind of metal pieces do we have over here? Got some flowers. Some more flowers. Yeah, let's bring this up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm not just staring at nothing. Wait. Let's close this up. We're done with this for now, but I really don't want those all over my floor. All right, so, let's see, I've got these little guys here, the antique gold. That's really pretty. I also have the rose gold. flowers, little black flowers. We also have white flowers. Actually, I think the white might look good. My favorite so far is definitely the antique gold though. I need to get more antique gold stuff because I actually don't have a ton of it. I have gold gold. Like the traditional color gold. But not a lot. That's it. That's that's my antique gold right here. that does not look good like that. Oh, that looks good. Sorry, I tried to throw it on myself. I like that. Okay, so I think it is between these two. I think I like this one better. All right, so let's find more of these. So oh, I hope I have more of those. Where did I find that? Some of you that have metal pieces are probably cringing at me right now because of how I have this store. But I use them pretty often, so. Oh no, I don't have any more. So 
Sorry if you see my head. No. Oh, I finally found one that I really like and I don't have any more. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What about that one? That one's cool too. I really like this one though. Oh no. Oh, I like that one. Well, that's just too bad because I only have one, so that's not going to work. Alright, what's on this bottom one? I think this is all silver. It is. colors. Like I have a handful of colors like this. Well this one's white but like this one's blue. Well this one's actually purple. I lied. This one's black. But it, that's all I have. Oh, I need to I need to go shopping again. the same one but silver. It's actually kind of snowflakey like. I don't think I have four of those. I have two of those. Nope, I do have more. I do have more. Ooh, okay. Yay! Alright, so we, we'll just use the silver ones instead of the gold ones because I only have one of the gold one and that's not going to work for a set of four. And we're just going to put these back over here. pieces ended up on the wrong side, I think. That's, yeah, that's cool. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And this is metal. Anyway, now that we have our metal pieces, like, we, we can put our thing together and put that on some bubbles and pop the bubbles, I think. Alright, it's kind of like snowflakey. I like that. Um, let's see. Let's do it this way. I was trying to decide how I wanted to glue. Alright, here's that one. Here's that one. And I think. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough time to do a whole nother set because we only have 10 minutes before the hour is up and we're not even done with this set yet. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish that last set off camera and we'll do something different tomorrow. Probably make some tags or something. I need to make some tags. Especially for this journal. I need to make tags for the journal. I need to make tags for the shop. Yep, yep, yep. We might do tags and cards and such. Oh, that's warm. Hey, did y'all know that uh, hot glue is slightly warm? Yeah, just a smidge. But if you get enough of it on your fingers, you don't feel it anymore. <laughs> I did learn that. 
because then it just starts kicking up on your fingers. And it's like a little insulator. Now, by no means am I encouraging you to put hot glue on your fingers. I'm just saying, if you happen to be using hot glue and your fingers, it does eventually get better. Woo! As long as you don't throw the hot glue somewhere. Alright, so I think this one might have an indention. Mm, nope, it's pretty flat, actually. Alright. So we take our little flowers here. And this is metal. So we're going to put a blob of glue, E6000 glue. Sorry, I don't know why I'm whispering. Alright. Oh. Oh. Stay. Any more fingers? There we go. I'm just pushing down. Because it takes a second to, like, grab. But it doesn't take too long. Yeah, we're so not done with this set because this is only the second doily in the set. This is only the second flower. This is the first one. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not done with this one. Okay. I love the sparkly on them. Sparkle, sparkle. Okay, so we have two flowers. Oh, we can move these, I think. Yeah, I think we can move these safely. As long as they lay flat, we'll be fine. Okay. All right. So we need another flower. And we have these guys here that we can use. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, I think that's too matchy matchy. Oh no, white's not gonna work. Maybe the darker one? Ooh, I like that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. One, two, three. Perfect. Oh, what are you? Oh, I know. figure out a centerpiece for these guys. I was thinking about that. Oh, I like that. Oh, <laughs> this one came together nicely, didn't it? All right. So this one's going to stick to the paper for a minute. Uh, I need to grab a couple more of these. 
And again, these are just the plastic uh, blingies that I've got. Because like I said before, I use all kinds of blingies. Uh, plastic, thin metal, thick metal. Um, I do prefer the heavier metal because it, it, it seems to have, well obviously it has more weight to it, but it seems to have a little bit more durability to it as well. But I think it just depends on what it is you're doing. Like, if you're putting it inside of a page, I don't think you want that big, huge, bulky metal piece. But if you're putting it on a spine or a cover, maybe you want that big, huge, bulky metal piece. I like the metal pieces on the spines and the covers. Oh, so I did have a comment about um, the book, the altered book. So I think that um, we might do, eventually, I think we might do a start to finish altered book. I think that'll be a lot of fun. They are so much fun to make. They are a little time consuming, but then again, so are journals. So I think it's just whatever is your fancy, really. And once I get these down, I can peel them up off the paper. And also what happens when you do it like this is you create a nice, solid, flat back, making them very versatile in what you can do with them. So they're not, you know, bulky on both sides. Woo. But see this one here, this one's going to be fairly flat, especially compared to that last one we just did. Actually, the last one's really not that bad um, because the metal piece that we chose is actually kind of flat. Okay. All right, and then we'll pull those off the paper. See how it's nice and flat back there? So, and there's just really not that much dimension to it, even after we put the little, because this isn't very dimensional either. It gets pretty flat, which is one of the reasons I like using them, because you can use them on uh, embellishments and ephemera that goes inside the journal. There we go. See? Nice and flat. Trusty E6000 here. It's out. Why not? Oops. There's a little bit of a hole in the doily piece here, so I am having to use just a little bit more glue than I normally would have for a piece this small because it's going into the hole. Wow, oh, that actually worked out so well. I can't believe how quickly some of them come together and some of them just take so much more time. Isn't it neat how that works? All right, push those down a little bit. And it's actually perfect timing because we're just now at 59 minutes. Look at that. All right, so that's actually the set, the third set, I think. And I'm gonna go ahead and make the fourth set off camera. Um, and then we'll start doing something different tomorrow. Maybe work on the book a little, maybe make some tags. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me on and continuing making my flowers here. And thank you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.